Now to a hog wild story in one Jefferson County community, a neighborhood dealing with some unwanted guests causing some serious headaches on their property. Our Josh Gant spoke with one angry person in the Adamsville community who's been begging leaders to do something, Josh. Yeah, it's a big mess here. Neighbors say they've seen dozens of wild hogs tearing up their yards on almost a daily basis. As I mentioned, it is a big mess for Kasanya McClammy, who feels the city should take care of it. This is what we deal with every damn day. They is tan up our yard. Y'all see this? We sure do. Several hogs have taken over Kasanya McClammy's yard in Adamsville. She posted this video on Facebook showing the hogs making themselves at home. And we're not talking about piglets. These are not the oink oink pigs. They don't care. And they just wild and nasty. She's tried everything to get rid of them. We use Mount Lion urine. We use BB guns. We've used regular guns to just shoot out with them, but we have to be mindful of the guns because we have residents around here. That's where the hogs just wrote it. Same swine song over in Brenda Madison's yard next door. You can see the damage. I try to watch for them and I run them out of the yard when I see them. Yeah. I run them out of their yard I don't know how many times. McClammy says sometimes the hogs are very defiant, even after trying to shoo them away. You have like that one or two that look at you crazy, like who you talking to? So I'd be like, okay, you win. I'm gonna go in the house because I don't like nature like that. And I'm not gonna chase no hogs. She reached out to the city for help, but didn't get anywhere. All I could do was record because I need to call Fox 6. We call the mayor who says the situation is unfortunately out of the city's hands. You can't move them. We can't just come out and pick up the hogs and take them somewhere else. They can be trapped on your premise and killed on your premise, but we cannot do that for you. Palmer says if you are dealing with wild hogs like this, your best bet is to call the Alabama Department of Conservation and Natural Resources. It look like we've been digging for pipes. McClammy is hoping the right person sees this and helps them out. We got to come out our door and basically, you know, scout and look for pigs before we come outside. And I'm, I'm, I don't want to have to do that. We didn't see any pigs out there today, but we did hear them back in the woods. Now, McClammy says the city also sent her a list of companies that will trap and kill feral hogs at her expense, though. She doesn't feel she should have to pay for it since she says it's impacting multiple neighbors. Wow. Wow, hope they can get some help out there.